So I'm here with Sophie, and I she's a, a assistant of my dad, and I, I, I remember uh, giving a prophecy to her when my dad was uh, busy in my mouth and you were assisting him. Yeah. And I said, stop, stop, I need to give you a word, yeah. because I believe God is telling me that you need to let your, uh, your, your boyfriend at that time go, because he has your husband waiting for you, the, the one for you, right? So what happened? What happened? Well, it wasn't me and my boyfriend, we were just in a dating phase okay. and I I knew that something was wrong. I was telling myself that he wasn't the one, I didn't want to pursue him, there was already the like sixth date we went on and eventually you actually approached me, you leaned on the chair and you, were, you said, Sophie, let him go, God has a better one for you. I still remember that. was the exact sentence. Exactly. Yeah. Like, let him go, God has a better one for you. And at that moment, I knew right away what he was saying. And I think the day after, I told him, like, I'm sorry, I'm not continuing this dating, nothing. And I went back online, and I continued to date someone else. And the first person I met online, was the first person I ended up marrying and I'm pregnant. Like, I'm okay, so really pregnant. Hey. Yeah, and pregnant seven months already. And they got married at, at a church here? Yeah, we got married at the Protestant church here. And you, you live here now? Where I live in Aruba, yeah. That's amazing. Praise Jesus. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. That's how God speaks. When we get some, receive something from God, we need to share it because it can change lives. You know, Jesus loves you so much and also your child and your husband. So praise God. Exactly. Amen. For Amen. sure. <laughs>